check out my undercover and uh, Supreme collaboration. I think this released like uh, a week ago or something like that. Um, I got pretty much all I wanted. Um, I kind of substituted one shirt for the other two shirts I couldn't get, but I got the main accessories I wanted. As you guys know, I'm a big accessory guy. I thought the accessories were way better this season than last season with the bear pillow. Um, the shirts I think were not as good as last season. The shirts last season I think were pretty epic with the Supreme Bear and the Supreme Witch. Still have both of those. The Supreme Witch shirt has like exploded. I think that's like a $300 shirt now or something like that. So that's pretty crazy, but I'll never sell those shirts. Unless they get like into like the $600 range, then I just would have to for a t-shirt. But I love those shirts and I'm not letting them go. Um, so I'll just get to the stickers they threw out. These were two orders because I got the accessories and went back to try to get a shirt. Um, first order I got all the stickers, second order I didn't get any uh, stickers. So first off, Supreme Box logo like always. And then I'm happy to get the undercover Supreme Box logo collab. Really like this. Um, this kind of design print painting they went with. This is a cool box logo. It says Supreme Undercover on the side like when they do Come Be Garçon. Um, I like the Renaissance art, the darker kind of stuff. They did a lot of religious paintings back then, so I'm happy to see they kind of went with one of these uh, paintings. Got that one. Got the Anarchy A. Put that all over the Doc Martens. I passed on the Doc Martens. Um, and then we got the Dolls, uh, Undercover, and Supreme over the eyes. And then the backwards generation, fuck you. I thought the bomber was really cool. It's something I really couldn't wear in Florida a lot, but that was a cool piece they threw out. That was a, overall a really good collaboration. So let me just get into the accessories. I thought this was really cool. It's the Dynamite pouch. Um, when they first showed this, I thought this was gonna be crazy expensive because I've seen stuff like this in Dover Street Market where they've done stuff like this before and they were like at least like 150, I thought. But this one was only a uh, 60 and it's, it's smaller, but I think it's pretty much what I think they usually are, so it's kind of weird. Maybe the other ones are actually real big or, real big or something like that. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a little bigger than your hand. I buy it more as just to throw my accessories in when I travel, just to throw them all in like one little thing, and I thought it was pretty cool. You got the Supreme uh, kind of dynamite on the front, nice kind of like green vinylish leather tumble on the back. You got the smooth kind of leather. You got a gold zipper, undercover Supreme right there. Zip it open. It's kind of like a canvas on the inside. You can throw like your wallet, keys, chains, something like that. Something to throw in your backpack or if you want to carry it around and look uh, cool, I guess. And the other thing I wanted when I saw this, I thought it was like so cool. Uh, I've seen other uh, apples like this from Undercover and stuff. Um, this is what they usually do with like Medicom, Medicom or Medicom, the toy company. This, the red apple, real glossy. You got Supreme all over it. And then you got the little lantern on the front. You kind of just pull this out and you, you need to put it in AAA batteries. I don't have any right now, so I can't turn it on for you guys. Um, put it back in and then it, it uh, turns on by just turning this to the stem at the top. Really cool accessory, one of the cooler accessories I've had. Um, really expensive though, but I kind of was like, you know, as long as I get like two things, I'll be okay with getting this because I'm not going to buy a bunch of shirts with it. It was 158 so it is super expensive. But I think it's really cool, one of the cooler accessories of the season. So I'm happy to get that. So just those two things alone I was happy with. I went for the shirts, I wanted the anatomy tee, I failed. Um, I wanted the samurai in black, I failed. Um, it looks like those tees were like the most hyped or most wanted of course. And, um, I guess like the, the all over hooded jacket, that was probably the most hyped item I think. Then with the bomber after that and then the t-shirts. So I just got that stuff immediately, went back, couldn't get those two other t-shirts in black. So I settled for the Dolls tee in white. That seemed to be around like the longest. That was a cool design. Um, white is the only one I could get. I prefer black and everything, but I settled for white, not bad. Um, you can tell it's like the usual collaboration. Undercover at the top, Supreme right there. Got the two Dolls in black screen print on the white tee. Already wore this before and when I went up to New York. I said I was gonna vlog in New York, but it like never happens because I forget my GoPro or I go out. I was like, ah, oh, it's not gonna be that exciting. Pretty much went up there for ESL1 New York. Um, if you guys know about like PC games and stuff like that, it was like the, kind of like the World Series of like Counter Strike gaming. All like the pro teams went and did that. They had Street Fighter in another room, so that was cool. That's pretty, what I pretty much did for two days. Then we pretty much just went to bars and ate, and that was pretty much it. So it wasn't that exciting to vlog, so not too bad. I forgot to film. And those are all my pickups from the Undercover collab. Like I said, that was a crazy kind of, the site was real laggy. I haven't seen the site laggy like that since like a, like a box logo hoodie release or something like that. This um, drop is kind of exciting. If you guys like Levi's stuff, they're releasing their Levi's bleed stuff. Not feeling that stuff. They're releasing the fall tees. Um, two of the tees are kind of cool. They got the blade long sleeve. 
Um, the only tee I'm really going for is the Gucci one because I think that's cool. I like the Gucci tee. Real surprised they're releasing like a photo tee, I guess, this season and this late in the season. Usually it's a uh, spring summer in the beginning. So I think that'll be a cool tee to get. I'm sure it's gonna be hard to get. I'm gonna try to get it. I think they're also releasing like the hand bottle opener. So I wanna try to get that too. I'll go for the tee and if I can't get it, I'll just get the bottle opener probably. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys can get what you want in this drop. We got a lot of shirts dropping. Not a fan really of any of the other shirts. So uh, like I said, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. <music>